Sitaram, everyone. Sitaram, everyone. Thank you very much, Jai Sitaram. To members of the bereaved family, to the wider family, the Warner Tree family, the Beamers family, and all the artists who have turned out in their numbers today, let us give them a round of applause as we honor an icon in Orlando. Distinguished guests, and all here today in honor. We mourn, but we also celebrate a great soul and an icon. So it is often said, to whom much is given, much is expected. And Anil Beam gave to us so much of himself, his love, his talent. He gave to us comfort in our most difficult times and rejoice with us during the happiest and joyous milestones through, throughout all of his music he shared with us. But let's remember where Anil came from. Today I want to pay tribute to the great soul. Anil came from a dynasty of enormous talent which started with his mother, the legendary Primati Beam. Can we give her a round of applause? from his mother. And the greatest sorrow any parent can face is what Primati Beam and her family is experiencing today. However, Ma, we are here to share in this your time of bereavement. But we are also here to celebrate the life of a great son of our soil with you and share with all of us here whom many of us claimed as our own son and brother. And Ma, I will tell you something. Each one of us, when we are born, there is only one thing that we know for certain in life. There is nothing else that is certain. There is only one thing when you take this life when you are born. And that certainty is one day you will die. You don't know when. You don't know how, you don't know why, but that is a certain fate of every human being. And I want to share with you my own grief and that of my mother. My brother died at a very young age. I remember the pundit telling us, and I want to share this with all of you who are now grieving and mourning. It is a fact of life that will give us the strength to take us far. And the pundit told us, you know, our family were grieving, he died in an accident. And of course, my mother, the pain, and all of us, pundit told us this. Said, Ma is all over crying, begging the Lord of death, please bring back my son. Bring back my son, I want my son back. And the Lord said, I will bring back your son. But you have to do one thing for me. You know what that is? You have to bring me a handful of mustard seeds. In turn, that you'll bring me a handful of corn or pigeon peas. Bring that to me and I'll bring back your son. But there's one condition. You must bring that from a home that has never known death. And so in every home, we will have this grief. We will have this pain. So my share with you and the family that we go through what is happening in every human life. And so what's, what's the story then? We know we will die one day. We don't know when, how, what, why, where. But you know what we have to do? During our lifetime, we must do the best that we can do. We must do the best to uplift others in whatever way we can. And this is uh, Anil had the gift and the talent that he shared with all of us, not only here in Trinidad and Tobago, but elsewhere. And so the outpouring of love we have seen over the past few days is a true indication of the profound respect and impact Anil had on our country's culture, our local music industry, and on the lives of people in our country. Anil was an icon of music. He brought joy and happiness to so many of us through his voice, through his musical talents. Once you heard Anil's voice, you felt lighter on your feet. 
You felt more cheerful in spirit. You know, he had such a rare quality, if you remember, in that he had the ability to make you happy. And you know, you couldn't even help but feel happy, joyful, and uplifted when you heard Anil's word. Please give him a round of applause. We must never forget his voice. Anil was the only person who could sing. He could sing the saddest song. And the listener would have a smile on their faces. You may be crying at the same time while he was singing, but his voice, his manner, his demeanor, his talent, his great soul uplifted us all the time. Calming, reassuring, and uplifting all at the same time. You know, someone sent me a clip when he passed. They sent me a clip of one of his early performances as a young man on Mastana Bahar. And even then, at that young age, you could see his talent shining through. It was unmistakable. Some of us are born with gifts. Whether it is in song, what is in art, what is in the ability to tell stories. But many of us never get to realize our potential. Anil was one of those whose special abilities were clear from a young age. And we are still all better for him sharing his talent with the world. So, as we say farewell, as I say farewell, Anil, I want just to remember this legacy will forever be remembered through the countless songs that he gifted us with. Songs that spoke to the hearts of people across generations. And his life is a testament to what a great human being should strive for. Love, kindness, compassion, and making the lives of others better. That was Anil. He was more than just a singer. He was a cultural icon. He used his talents to bring people together. And so it is fitting that we are here today at this Diwali Nagar site, which is also an important institution of culture to celebrate on his life and legacy. It was my distinct honor to request that Anil perform at the People's House, which was the Prime Minister's residence in 2012 for our nation's 50th anniversary. How proud we were to have him there. And today I call in the same way we gifted Black Stalin an award, a national award in Trinidad and Tobago. I call for a national award for Anil Beam. He was a young boy from central Trinidad. He had great ambition and talent. Told me it was a dream come true when he mounted that stage at the Prime Minister's residence and performed at the Diplomatic Center. He said that was a dream for him come true. And his wife was there with us as well. And he'll be, I can safely say that we all shared in that dream. Your contributions to music will always be, always be cherished and remembered. As we mourn this great loss, I take comfort in the words of a great Hindi poet, Galib, who said, we have loved for a lifetime, and a love will last more than a lifetime. It is their wife, Cheryl, it is daughters, his grandchildren, it is family, and it is mom, ma, primati, friends, colleagues, and fans. I wish you strength and comfort at this time. But you must all remember, always, Anil lived a life that brought joy and happiness to thousands and thousands of people. He was put here by God to make people's lives better, and he more than fulfilled his purpose. So Anil Beam, the vocalist, may be gone, but his spark of divinity has changed all our lives for the better. And when I see what was happening here today with all the tributes that poured in, I can see he was not a selfish artist, that he shared when Master Salim was it Master Salim, he had a different name. What was it? I wouldn't call him that. He's too good looking to be called that. And when he spoke, it means Salim shared with others, the young man who was there crying his heart out. He sings something I call from the back of Siparia. You remember that song? 
It was again Anil Beam who brought him forward, promoted him, as so many others. And that's something I see in our culture and our industry. That these artists, they do not keep it to themselves, but they share it with the younger ones. And up to today, we saw a young lady, Caitlin, I think is her name, from my constituency, singing with Nival Sheetlal. So friends, as I honor all of you, as we honor Anil, I think so many great icons we have, so many great artists. So I want to commend Ravi Anisha B and Karma, the Ram Narayan brothers, several Chutney artists are here today. If I don't call your name, forgive me because they told me our time is restricted. But all of you came out. Give a, you know, it's proud to see you came out for your brother. Give them a round of applause. And as we go forward, that is what we must always do, lift each other up, lift the culture up, and that is a way in which we can honor Anil Beam for the great life of music and service that he gave. I thank you, Anil. You may be gone, but your spark of divinity, as I said, has changed our lives forever. And you will forever live in our hearts and in the hearts of many generations to come. You know, he just did a, a new version of Suhani Rat. Well, we shall be playing that over and over and over again. Do we agree? May you rest in peace and comfort to the family. Take great joy in his life. And for the rest of us who live on, remember always, one thing you're sure of when you're born is you will die. You don't know when, you know how, you don't know where. But what you do know is to make the best of that life for yourselves and for all those around you. I thank you very much. May God continue to bless you. Thank you so much.